Hey, what's up everyone? In today's video we will be looking at an older lock, a uh, simpler lock, but a very fun lock. This is the DOM RN. As I said, this lock is older, it's not uh, in production anymore, but it doesn't mean that uh, it's bad. In fact, uh, because it's uh, older generation, it uses some pretty uh, funky pins. So, that's one of the reasons I wanted to show it to you. So, here is our key. Uh, we have five pins in there, so five cuts and nothing else interesting inside. Same goes for the housing, just your average five chamber housing. Here's our plug, no control over milling on these pins, uh, sorry, on these chambers and the keyway. Not exactly the hardest one, uh, but like in any, almost any other, or maybe every other dome pin tumbler lock, you can find a ledge to pick from, and in this case it's this right ledge, and I was using it as well. Okay, so let's take a look at the pins. Uh, so, so, let's start with the boring stuff, we have some standard key pins in chambers 1, uh, 4 and 5 we have torpedoes in chambers 2 and 3 so in theory if you overset these uh, they will just stay up there and you will have to drop a lot of tension and a lot of pins if you want to get them back uh, in chambers 1, th 2 and 5 we have these dome uh, barrels so these are not standards because, as you can see, they have a little narrow section on both of the sides and the result is that this can bind at different times so you might need to hear two clicks out of this and the main star of today's show are these really amazing uh, rattlesnake pins, as they are called so you can see that there are multiple, like rings of uh, of metal or what or of brass I guess uh, and yeah so these are basically called rattlesnake pins so it's just something really cool to see in a, a mass produced lock uh, so how do they pick? well honestly they look a lot cooler than they really are because they act like very weak serrated pins so the result of picking this lock is that you will hear a lot of clicks of almost every pin uh, my recommendation for not only this but also for almost any dome pin tumbler lock is to first use heavy tension and go for a single click out of a pin every time like don't ever try to get multiple clicks or you know set the pin right away you just have to work slowly slowly your way towards uh, towards the open so i did the same with this lock basically i went very slowly pin after pin and uh, one to five several times and I was looking for for the uh, smallest feedback uh, possible. I didn't try to force anything. I just uh, worked my way methodically uh, to the open. And I think this strategy works really good for all dome pin tumbler locks. Uh, that's basically my experience. Uh, so as I mentioned, these uh, rattlesnake pins they pick basically like weak serrated pins. So you can hear like two or three clicks out of them and obviously these dome uh, barrels they give you also at least two clicks usually uh, what i noticed as well is that uh, sometimes uh, if you end up hanging on let's say this rattlesnake pin and you picked your way through all of these of these rings right and the shear line is somewhere here you can see that it creates like a miniature spool in there so 
they can give you counter rotation as a last step because they can create like a little spool in here I think it happened to me uh, in the pick as well so that's kind of maybe one only thing that can these picks do but uh, other than that it's just a methodical process and a very fun pick I have to say a lot of feedback so let's go ahead and get it picked okay here we go works so pretty pretty heavy clockwise tension and let's start okay so maybe we'll lose something out of one two double click there three is loose double click on four double click on five one is good, two as well, three as well, click out of four, maybe it was something out of five. One is set, I think, two is fine for now, click on three and four, a little corrotation as I did that. Back to one, click out of two. Click out of five and <coughs> think more corrotation. One is loose, two is loose. Click out of three, more corrotation. Five seems to be set. Okay. Yeah, I'm getting counter rotation on four. Maybe you can see it. Okay, click there, and we have an open. Okay, so let's count this guy. We'll try to spread this circle somehow with these two. Okay, I think it works. That should do it. Perfect. Here, so there's our key follower. Let's see what we can find inside. Hopefully, I don't need to shim this. One, two, three, four, and five. It's been a while since I got it a five pin look on camera. Feels good, feels good not to worry about stuff. Okay, now that was refreshingly fast. Okay, close up on the pins. And plug housing. And that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully we'll see each other in the next video really soon. Bye.